center. Remove! Take your company right after you pass the wall. Fourth, and fear no darkness! Arise! Arise, riders of Theoden! Spears shall be shaken! Shields shall be splintered! A sword day! A red day! And the sun rises! human and you don't want him to run amok you bind him down with an oath I know we heard talk today about someday you may see those in the uniform in violation of their oaths pointing the gun at you their masters in an unlawful way I pray that never happens it has happened I want to assure you the man in the uniform will not be I law enforcement and military are not the enemy there's a lot of people that think, oh God, we're going to have to fight the U.S. forces, we're going to have to fight the Marines, we're going to have to fight the Army. And that's not, not the case. The U.S. military is not against the people. We are the people. Today, really, in many respects, our government is the one that is stepping aside the rule of law. Gun confiscation is exactly what happened during the state of emergency following Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. No one will be able to be armed. We yes, will take all yes, weapons. Sir. you can think in history where republics have fallen through usurpation of power particularly think of the times when it has happened through the military force could run amok you can't really tell from my name but my father uh, lived, lived under Stalin and his whole family was killed by Stalin and my mother's a family escaped from uh, North Korea and they lost all their property and were supposed to be killed at least three or four times so I was fortunate to be uh, born in this great nation and, uh, but yet I see the same uh, signs or our country going in uh, the direction in which my parents escaped from. U.S. troops also arrived, something far easier to do even now thanks to last year's elimination of the 1878 Posse Comitatus Act.
And lastly, as promised, a special comment tonight on the signing of the Military Commissions Act and the loss of habeas corpus. We have lived as if in a trance. We have lived as people in fear. And now, our rights and our freedoms in peril, we slowly awaken to learn that we have been afraid of the wrong thing. Therefore, tonight have we truly become the inheritors of our American legacy. For on this first full day that the Military Commissions Act is in force, we now face what our ancestors faced at other times of exaggerated crisis and melodramatic fear-mongering, a government more dangerous to our liberty than is the enemy it claims to protect us from. <laughs> It was a human drama with emotions and tensions running high. Patty Connie is still trying to recover physically and emotionally. They really did a number on me. From the day police forced her from her home. It was traumatic. All of a sudden, they were banging on the front door, the side door, and the back door, and they said, let us in. Patty tried to explain. She was on dry land, she had plenty of food and water, and didn't want to abandon her dogs. But it didn't matter. If you see six or eight police that look like linebackers pushing you in a corner, you're, you're in shock. I'm saying, look at all my food. I got plenty of food. They kept pushing me back, pushing me back, and ended up like this. Then, Patty showed them a small revolver she was carefully holding in the palm of her hand. A camera crew was there to capture what unfolded next. I said, it's not even loaded. And I dropped it on the floor. You got a gun, well, they punched me in the face. Look at my black and blue marks. Look at, look at what they did to me. They dragged me out of here. I really thought they were going to kill me. We had identification. We were coming back from a house that we were taking the weapons out of so criminals wouldn't break in and steal them. And we've had uh, policemen tell us that that's what they wanted us to do, but not the sheriff in St. Tammany. They just wanted to confiscate them from us. We felt like criminals at the time when they come up to us with M16s or AR15s, whatever it was, but there were four of them with rifles and holding on us with our hands in the air until they got in our boat. So they got on the boat and they asked us, do you have any loaded weapons? Yes, we do. They're in the two back compartments. Wayne went to show them where the gun was. And he screams, don't touch it. Don't even move. I'll get it. I thought, felt like it was un-American and then we had been violated when they, you know, took... <laughs> like I say, we were shells out. We were just sitting around looking at each other and said, we just got our guns taken away from them. They took them. Test vote and then take it into the election. That is, if you are on the no-fly list because you are known as maybe a possible terrorist, you cannot buy a handgun in America. Health care. Right. A livable wage. Right. Owning a handgun. Privilege. of anger yet against the new administration. No more cars! No more cars! At one point, the crowd filled all of Pennsylvania Avenue from the White House to the Capitol. I want our freedom. And if we're losing it day by day by day. They came from all over the country to protest the president's health care plan, the stimulus package, Washington's Wall Street bailout, and more. We are here to give a message to Congress and the President that we are tired of them spending our money and not listening to our views.